other than that, all right, I've already got the stage set up for us. I've got the uh, layer set up for us, which you can find inside of the uh, source files. And of course, you know what's in the source files already, I'm sure. But I've got CS3 and CS4 source files set up. And uh, what you're going to find in here, any extra files that we're going to be using or really just finished files, notes, etc. All right. And of course, the PHP form that we'll be using and um, progress files. Part one start, part one finished, part two start, part two finished, allowing you to kind of hop into gear. If you didn't like what you created, you can go ahead and use, um, you know, any of these finished files to start on the next part. All right. And of course, this file right here is what I'm going to be using throughout the uh, entire tutorial. This will have uh, the finished code and all that good stuff. All right, so we've already got the stage set up how we want to use it. All right, real simple. I just have some color in the background. And my goal for this tutorial was to create sort of a fully customized form. That way you don't make it look commercial by using you know the regular components or the regular white backgrounds that's provided for input text and and so on all right so really all we're going to do is just dress the stage up get all our art set up and then we'll work on uh, putting the input text boxes with instance names setting up the combo box setting up the uh, check box and uh, of course all the buttons that we'll uh, work on throughout this all right Oh yeah, and also I've got uh, this set up so we can work with cookies. That way you can save the form or erase the form. Just kind of uh, pretty cool stuff. So let's go ahead and set up what we need to set up. And what I'd like to do first is just go ahead and draw the um, input text box backgrounds. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. Okay, I'm going to come and grab my stage color, which is threes across the board. That's what this is. Obviously, you can use whatever you want, but... That's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to grab the layer down here, and let's see. I'm just going to draw a little rectangle out here. End up resizing this eventually, all right? But that should be a good start. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the text tool, okay? And as far as the properties that I'm using, for now, I'm just going to stick with static text. All right, I'm going to leave this at uh, Arial Bold. Uh, size 11 is good. I'm going to have this align right, and that's really all we need for right now. Okay, so I'm just going to drop this in here. Really just going to put this as business name. All right, I'm going to change the color on this, make this a uh, little bit lighter. Not that light. Convert to symbol. Send underscore BTN. All right, so we need to throw some instance names on these as well. I'm going to get my properties back in here. I'm just going to select the erase form button. All right, I'm going to call this erase underscore BTN. Okay, grab the save form button, save underscore BTN. And I'm going to grab the uh, send button down here. Just call this send underscore BTN. All right, and I think we're all set now to uh, go ahead and get into a little bit of the action script. And of course, I'll dress up the stage a little bit better. We'll clean it up as we go. All right. Okay, so I think what we're going to start with is the uh, shared object. All right, so what we need to do is go ahead and grab that layer. All right, and I'm just going to bring my actions in. If you don't know where to get your actions, you can either hit F9 or come up here to Window and select Actions. All right. Okay, I'm just going to uh, size this up. Remember, I grabbed this layer right here. All right. And setting up the uh, shared object is fairly easy. Uh, we've got a lot of repetitive stuff or stuff that's going to seem like we're doing it repetitively, but this uh, should turn out to be fairly good. So uh, basically what we need to do is create a variable and actually name it as the cookie. All right, so we're going to say var f underscore cookie colon shared object equals shared object dot get local basically telling them to look for it on the user's computer all right and then uh, we can basically name the name of the cookie here I'm just gonna call this uh, n underscore f underscore cookie you can really call this whatever you want closing parentheses semicolon all right and we're gonna create an if statement basically setting up what the cookie is going to uh, look for as far as data and stuff like that all right 
So here we're going to say if opening parentheses f underscore cookie dot size. Let's see, explanation point equals uh, zero, closing parentheses, opening bracket. All right, and here's we're going to reference all the instance names for everything we just created. All right, except for the chat box, check box. We're going to say uh, bus underscore name dot text equals f underscore cookie dot data dot bus underscore text semicolon. All right, and what we're doing here is we're referencing the instance name of the text, and we're actually going to call the data that's inside of the business name text, all right, as bus text. Now, this is very important because this isn't true for the uh, combo boxes, but ultimately later on you'll see where we're going with this, all right? This is what we're going to refer to basically transfer the data at, as far as the PHP goes, all right? So ultimately this is what the PHP is going to be reading, okay? The combo boxes are going to be a little bit different because we're going to have to rename uh, this value for the combo boxes, okay? And I don't want that to be confusing, all right? Basically just ignore what I said. But uh, we need to set this up for everything, all right? Name underscore name dot text equals f underscore cookie dot data uh, dot um, name underscore text, semicolon, all right? Email underscore name dot text equals f underscore cookie dot data dot email underscore text, semicolon. Uh, telephone underscore name dot text equals f underscore cookie dot data dot telephone underscore text semicolon all right and then of course brief underscore name dot text equals f underscore cookie dot data dot brief underscore text semicolon okay and for the uh, op one name and op two name basically our combo boxes what we're going to be doing here is setting the selected index. So we're going to say op1 underscore name dot selected index equals f underscore cookie dot data dot op1 underscore index. All right. Semicolon. So instead of calling this index or text, all right, we're going to name this index. And ultimately, we're going to change this value or this variable name to another name. All right. And I don't want that to be confusing. However, the text is going to equal the data that's going to go into this text, all right, as far as the cookie goes, okay? Op1 underscore name selected index is ultimately going to be, you know, when they save this to the cookie, all right, it's going to be the selected index. So basically, Flash is going to remember, you know, which, uh, which cell was selected inside of the combo box.